Good morning. Uh, or good afternoon. Good evening. It depends on the time you watch this. So I say hi. And I'm here to give you some lesson about English grammar. Yeah, it's actually my school project. And I'm not good at the knowledge and also lacking up the information, but I will try to do my best. It's about 10 minutes only. So just listen up. Um, so at the first, I'm going to talk about the subject. Subject. And we're gonna talk about which form can be a subject. So it's a noun. Spell correct? Okay. Mm. We can define the something now. We have four. One. The things. we have made something else but I'll make it only these two and the second verb ends with ment m-e-n-t or t-i-o-n we can define this as noun two and the third one um, infinitive two plus verb we can figure it out as noun 2 and gerund the verb plus ing we say this as noun 2 no objective or no other verb can not be a subject and the fourth thing is the one that I want to talk about is noun phrase Noun phrase something ends with one sentence, but it, it starts with uh, something different. I write them down. We have that if whether when how why where. Who and what? If the sentence starts with these words, we can figure it out. Figure it out as noun phrase. <coughs> mm. And among this, if and whether, we can find it the same meaning. You may wonder why I underline these two words because with these words the sentence ends completely these two incomplete and so what is the difference with the complete and incomplete the complete sentence ends with subject and verb no more object or something else we don't need to make any object in the complete sentence but the incomplete sentence it starts with verb yeah, I said these two are the incomplete so Yeah, I'll give you some example. I'll give you some first.
let's just make some example that we have sentence I know and we need object here when it starts with that we should make our own complete sentence I know that I am tired so it starts subject and now the verb comes but when you use who or what I know who is my partner as you can see we use the verb first that's the difference between that and who who and what since it is the incomplete sentence so we use verb first not subject A special committee will be formed to find out the blank cause current financial difficulties. And there's items. Um, yeah. A, that, B, what, C, E, D, when. To solve this question, the comprising is important, but what you have to do first is find the common things among the items that, what, if, when. Yeah. They all make the noun, noun phrase. But if you listen up very carefully, you can identify that the what is the only one that becomes the incomplete sentence and the both are the complete sentence. So, Let's just leave it. Our special committee, yeah, it will be our subject, that will be formed Birth. to find out. Yeah, we need object. So these all are our noun noun phrases. So for the noun phrase to solve cause, what form is this? Is verb. The current financial difficulties another objective. So. As you can see, since it is a verb, we should find it the one noun phrase that that comes in complete sentence. So the answer is B. Yeah, it's easy. Okay, one more and it will be our last.
apartment. Let's see it. Yes, already those questions. The bank, the department exceeded its safe target despite the decreasing demands for its products surprised many people. Mm, yeah. See those things. Yes. We can figure it out that despite its bread condition. And although it's not now place, it's just objective uh, objective. Yes. And that and the if are now press. But what you have to do first is the figure out the sentence first. So we will know what form should be in this in this blank. Mm. Yeah. The the depart uh, the department is since I subject but we're not sure yet. The verb is the same target. Same target and yeah, here is objective. This part. Yeah, it is a preposition. The pre after the preposition, it always comes the noun. So it's all now our preposition for its products. And we may know that yeah, demand for it comes together. When it comes together, it makes a meaning. Um, so what? Done. Wait, okay. 
Uh, thank you for listening. And yeah, you may listen or not. <laughs> It's alright for me. And thank you for your cooperation very much.